Hello? Ah, I just have to number two. So this is the new Samsung Q950A. It's an 11.1.4 surround sound soundbar. Two rear speakers and one big giant soundbar center speaker. I'm actually replacing the N650 uh, soundbar by Samsung. Uh, now that one had a problem with the center channel, whereas it didn't really have one. Uh, so essentially you would get like really, really loud uh, action scenes and very, very quiet dialogue, and you're constantly riding the remote. The goal with the new one, at least, is that A, it'll have a center channel, um, and B, it means that even though I've got more sound, I can still turn it down quite low. Apparently, this one has a night mode, which is pretty important because I have a, a baby. Um, so you would think to yourself, well, why would you buy something you know big and beefy and huge if you have a baby? You want to keep things quiet. That's not really the problem with having a baby. A baby can deal with quite a bit of sound, especially my baby. But the problem that we have is sudden sounds. Uh, so we don't want to basically have a big explosion that's going to wake our kid up and, and we, we want to be able to hear what people are saying. Uh, so that's the idea anyway. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up. This is my previous sound bar. Oh, and this is the big boy. Big boy on the left, small sub on the right. This is the power button. This is the source button, Bluetooth pairing, the wheel that lets you select up, down, left, and right, mute, the various sound modes, sound, like surround, standard, game pro, and adaptive, the settings menu that allows you to be able to cycle between all of the individual settings for each of the speakers, your volume, and your subwoofer volume. So here we are on my Galaxy S21. Uh, we're actually in Samsung SmartThings. Uh, you can see right now that Auto EQ is turned on, uh, which is the feature uh, that scans your room and adjusts the sound profile for the best sound. I can't say for certain whether or not that's actually improved anything at the moment. Uh, so it's set to TV at the moment via TV arc. Uh, you can adjust the volume of the soundbar via your phone. Uh, there is uh, several sound modes. Now I do prefer adaptive sound. Uh, it seems to just give me the best sort of result. I'm no audiophile, so I, I can't sort of say for certain as to why, it just sounds good. Uh, game is pretty cool. Uh, game will swap over if you have an Xbox or a PlayStation connected. I can only say for certain that it works on the Xbox because that's all I have, the Xbox Series X, but it does certainly change over to it. Uh, surround I haven't spent a whole lot of time with. Uh, and finally standard, which is just your standard sound profile. Uh, if you do change over to standard, uh, you will be able to go to the equalizer settings. Now the equalizer settings are adjustable on all of them, but it reduces the amount of options that are actually available. Uh, so for example, if I was on adaptive, I think it's only like bass and treble that it shows. Whereas for the equalizer on standard, you've got a lot more options here. Uh, there's also the basic option, which I think we're on at the moment. No, so there's the basic, just bass and treble. So this actually heads into advanced uh, and yeah, that isn't available on adaptive sound. I assume it, it does all of that sort of stuff for you. The sound of the woofer, plus six, big booming sound, minus 12, nothing at all. And there are advanced sound settings. Now these ones are cool. These are only available via the app and these work very, very well. So voice enhancement boosts the center channel from what I can tell, so I can actually hear people. And this is a big reason why I got this sound bar. We just couldn't hear anything from the center channel. Uh, so this makes that adjustment for you. Uh, it, it boosts it. Now you could just press plus three, plus four, whatever you want, 
on the center channel. I think that also works as well. But if you don't want to edit that, you just want to switch this on, uh, you know, at certain times of the day without mucking around too much with settings. This works quite well. Bass enhancement, I'm not going to bother with. I don't want to annoy my downstairs neighbors, um, but I just imagine that it makes your bass sound a lot better. So plus six or plus 12 or whatever it is, the maximum for the bass and then <laughs> enhancement on top of that, I'm guessing. Um, Otherwise, for all I know, it may just boost it up to plus six automatically without you needing to make that adjustment. Again, I haven't tested it. I'm not willing to test it in, in my place. Um, and then finally, night mode. Uh, it reduces the center channel, absolutely, but I think it just levels out all of the sounds from what I can tell. So again, you turn on at night, maybe your baby's trying to sleep uh, and you still want to be able to hear some stuff. So the center channel is definitely reduced, but I think it just mellows out um, all the sounds around it so there aren't those big spikes that, that wake you up. We all want to be the perfect family, but who's perfect, right? Every family has its challenges from picture day to picky eaters. For my family, our greatest challenge, probably the machine apocalypse. The last humans must be here somewhere. Wait, they're coming. Orange 1993 station wagon? Or is it? Ah! Who are these unstoppable warriors? Ah! There we are. Warriors. Most action heroes have a lot of strengths. Dad, look out! Katie, use a weapon! My family only has weaknesses. So it's been about two weeks since I purchased the soundbar. Uh, it's definitely been a big jump in sound quality in comparison to the, the N650 that I had before. Uh, the center channel is excellent uh, and I have done a vocal boost on that using the app. Uh, so the center channel is a little bit more prominent. Uh, it means that the uh, left and right channel as well, I don't have that, that sort of big boost that happens with, with action scenes. Um, as you would have seen in the little clip that I showed you of, of the Mitchells vs. the Machines. Uh, it, it gets quite loud on, on a very, very low volume. Um, you know, 10 is absolutely the top of, of which I run it at. I mean, I push this to, to 15 or higher, um, but you would never, you would never run it at that. <clears throat> um, you would probably would have noticed that the center channel was actually, uh, quite a bit louder than the, the music and everything else that was going on around it. Um, and again, that's just because of that, that boost that I've added there. Um, I have boosted the rear speakers as well, um, from a plus zero to plus three. In saying that, the positioning of those rear speakers is not optimal, uh, at least uh, not in my place anyway. I, I've got the two rear speakers sort of the back of the couch, there's cushions around it, it's sort of um, masking the side channels a little bit, uh, but it, it's just it's just what I, I have to work with here. Um, I could potentially mount them on the back of the wall and that might improve things. Um, I may very well get rid of the rear speakers at a later point, which I guess defeats the purpose, but uh, just with having a kid around, I feel like they can get pushed off the side of the couch. Uh, when 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 she's ready to do that, I think it's it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth the money at retail. Uh, the the retail price on this thing is like two thousand one hundred Australian dollars, uh, and that's fairly hefty. You could you could easily buy yourself a you know five point one surround sound system, um, or, or probably more. I really don't know um, what amplifiers and stuff go for. I just feel like you could get yourself a proper setup. In saying that, the purpose of a soundbar is, uh, you know, convenience. Uh, it's wireless, wireless sub, wireless rears. It's tidy and it works for an apartment. I can't turn that sub all the way up anyway. Uh, and yeah, um, in regards to the sub, I haven't really got to test it out, but I will say that it doesn't impress me all that much, even when I have sort of pushed it a little bit. Uh, I did have a friend purchase this exact same model and uh, they weren't impressed by the sub. Um, they, they were expecting a lot more from it and they live in a house so they've been able to turn it all the way up. 
uh, even with Base Boost. Uh, I should mention that I have heard that Base Boost, which is uh, an option in the app that I just showed you previously, uh, the Base Boost doesn't appear to work with Netflix. Uh, I guess proprietary Netflix apps, like as in the Netflix apps that are built into your smart TV. I don't know if it's different if it's on a Shield TV, uh, and I do have a Shield TV as well. Um, but look, you know, you, you can select Atmos as an option. It does work. Uh, it just, yeah, seems to miss that base boost. Something happens. I don't know. So I guess if you're buying this for punchy bass, maybe not the way to go. You want to know more about this soundbar? And I know, I, again, I covered a lot on, you know, unboxing it and, and setting it up. It, it's a little bit difficult to show you what the sound is going to be like when I'm, when I'm filming it through a camera. It's, it's really something that you would need to go and see and listen to. And if it is something that you're interested in, I would I'd find a place that sells this thing and, and listen to it yourself. Um, I can only sort of show you so much. Um, I can't obviously demonstrate Atmos uh, through through this camera setup that I have here. Um, but yeah, look, I'm very impressed with it. It's it's absolutely uh, doing what I want it to do. Uh, mainly again with that with that center channel and and not having those explosions sort of scare you and then needing to ride the remote. Uh, and yeah, that that's pretty much it.